What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. We all thought, and don't say you didn't, everybody thought that Nintendo's move to the mobile sphere was going to be a really bad move. Nintendo's kind of been making some pretty poor choices in the gaming market uh, over the last few years. The Wii U uh, really comes to mind as a failure as far as home consoles go. And so when Nintendo announced last year that they were going to be moving into the mobile industry, uh, bringing their Nintendo franchises to mobile phones and tablets, I, I'm one of them. I'm one of the people who said, hey man, this doesn't sound like a good idea. What Nintendo, what are you doing? Apparently Nintendo knew a lot better than us. And I actually like when that happens. I like when companies do their research and they figure out where they may be strong at and they try things. Now, you're not always going to succeed. You're not always going to be super successful when you try things. But the fact that you're trying things means you've gotten one more failure out of the way until you reach that success. Because in order to be successful, you're going to have to fail numerous times. And Nintendo's been failing a lot. But their Pokemon Go app is completely a win. It's got a big W right over the company right now because Pokemon Go is far more popular than Netflix. I'll drop a link in the description. Pokemon Go is far more popular than Netflix, but it has a long way to go to catch Instagram. How much longer can Pokemon Go phenomena last? If the latest data is any indication, much longer than you might think. On Monday, nearly 6% of all United States-based Android owners were playing Pokemon Go exceeding usage for some of the world's most popular services, including Netflix, which was running on 3.6% of Android devices, and Pandora, which topped out at 5.7% of Android products, according to a new data from digital tracking company SimilarWeb. It easily bested Twitter at 4.1% usage. While Pokemon Go's daily activity was seemingly high, it still paled in comparison to Facebook Messenger, which was used by 22.1% of all Android device owners in the U.S. Facebook-owned Instagram was in use on 13.1% of devices. Regardless, Pokemon Go has become a global phenomenon. The game allows players to search for, capture, and train Pokemon characters around their environment thanks to the technology known as augmented reality, which displays graphical characters, in this case Pokemon, over the real world captured via the device's camera. Since its launch on July 6, Pokemon Go's popularity has soared astronomically. Last week, it was used more than people on Tinder and was at that time closing in on Twitter. Now that it surpassed Twitter, it has a site set on photo sharing service Snapchat and Facebook-owned messenger app WhatsApp. It's also been crowned as the most popular mobile video game in history by survey company SurveyMonkey and is estimated to have had 21 million daily active users at its peak in the United States. However, daily activity is just one metric by which a game can be judged. Similar web which only analyzed Android usage and not iOS usage, specified that while Pokemon Go has attracted more use than some of the world's most popular apps, it is yet to match them on downloads. In fact, as of July 11th, Pokemon Go is running on 10.8% of all Android devices. In comparison, Spotify is on 17% of all Android devices and Twitter on 20%. Regardless, similar web anticipates continued growth for Pokemon Go as its popularity continues to skyrocket and more markets around the world get a chance to play the game. All the while, its developer Niantic, along with Nintendo, the Pokemon company, and Google will be enjoying all that success. Wow, that's, that's really phenomenal. Anything that Nintendo can do to stay relevant, I, I'd say bravo to the company. Is this what I want to see Nintendo do? Not so much, but obviously the majority does. People are really enjoying this game. Now, let me just say, I'm not saying I don't I won't like this game, I, I've never played it. I'm just not really a phone type of guy. If I want to play a game, I'll pull my Vita or my 3DS out. Uh, but this game has a lot of really awesome applications in real life. You know, it's getting people out there and, and being active. Uh, and tons and tons of people are playing this thing. It's unbelievable. This thing is more popular than Netflix. It's only been out for like a week or two. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Is this information shocking to you? It's more popular than Netflix and Pandora and some other Android apps that have been out for a very long time. It's actually really interesting. Nintendo knocked it out of the park here. Now, if they can do the same thing with other Nintendo franchises, it may just be the saving grace for the company in the future. Nintendo's been taking L's for a long time. It's good to see them get a win. Uh, you guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to give a thumbs up and show support for the channel. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter and tell all your friends about me. I'm the Beastly Gamer. I'll see you guys next time. Take off.